everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about how diffusers really are speakers. There seems to be a lot of confusion with diffusion. Confusion with diffusion, listen to that. So I'm just going to try to compare it to speakers and give you some idea of how it all works. Because I see some really uh, poorly applied situations and diffusers are very expensive to build. Uh, the materials are not that bad, but the labor is very expensive. So. What is a speaker? Well, it's an energy ra radiating device, right? Radiates energy into space, free space, hopefully. Diffuser definition, same thing, only it doesn't radiate energy on its own. It kind of uses the reflected energy from the room to produce energy. So while this device uses an amplifier and drives a driver, this power source, if you will, is the reflected energy from the room, okay? so. That, that's the, the, the main differences. They both produce energy and they both radiate energy. And that's the similarity I want you to get here. So how do, we, how do we know that they're really similar? Well, because they both have frequency ranges and they both uh, throw energy out into space. So let's look at some comparisons between the two. Speaker radiates energy. It's electromechanical, right? And the diffuser does the same thing with reflected energy. All right. So we have vertical and horizontal uh, for a speaker. So a speaker radiates energy, you know, in, in all in these two dimensions here, sometimes three. And the goal is to, uh, you know, obviously manage all that energy and then the unwanted pressure that goes with it. So you can uh, also achieve the same multi-plane uh, dispersion with diffusion using quadratic diffusion, just on the way you p position it. Because a vertical diffuser will diffuse sound out in a horizontal array, and a horizontal diffuser will diffuse sound out in a vertical array. It's kind of hard to draw. But you can get the same two di dimensions of diffusion that you can get out of a speaker. A speaker will give you another dimension, but the similarities are the same. I want you to start thinking of a diffuser as a speaker. It's a sound radiating device, not a sound generating device. That would probably be the easiest way to say it. So the dimensional impact we've already discussed. Here's the big thing that I see all the time. And let me wipe the board here clean so we can get an idea. I see this a lot and you just can't do it. If you have a diffuser, let's say you have diffusers across the rear wall. Okay, they have a radiation pattern, just like a speaker, okay? And that radiation pattern is determined by their frequency range, the orientation of the diffuser, whether it's vertical or horizontal. So this radiation pattern has to be taken into consideration. So a lot of people will put a chair right here, they'll put a couch right here, and they'll block the diffuser. Well, you wouldn't put a couch or a chair in front of your speaker, would you? No. If you did, you better do it to the other side too. No, don't do it at all. The bottom line here is you can't block the radiation pattern of the device, whether it's a speaker or a diffuser, because it's that energy. You have to let it do its job. With the speaker, you have to let the direct energy come out, and then you have to let it be mixed with the reflections of the room, and then hopefully manage it correctly at the listening position so you get a balance between direct and reflected energy. And that's all controlled using, you know, time signature calculations. So you can vary that. You can change the width, the depth of the sound stage by controlling all these variables. So you have to be very careful with a, with a diffuser in the same way, because even though it's not electrically or actively producing energy, it's reflective, more passive, more analog, I guess. So the bottom line here is don't block its radiation pattern. Let it do its job. Let the speaker do its job. Don't put anything in front of it. And obviously let the diffuser do its job and don't put, put anything in that. And use diffusion. It's the most understood and it, it's so good for your, the sound quality in your room. You, once you have it, you, your musical life will change forever and you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section or you can go to our website, AcousticFields.com, and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. 
you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured. And I guarantee you, your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.